So anyway, this is not the most advanced rig for this. But it gets the job done. Does anybody else find it incredibly awkward when you have to like carry on toilet paper? I do. Groceries. You know why? Because it's Fruity Friday. Okay, so this week I'm gonna be cooking one of my personal favorite dishes. This is Jim So's shrimp. This is so or cho or the It's a really tasty dish, so let's just get into it. Okay, so these are the basic groceries you'll need for this dish. Uh, we've got a red onion, some ginger, red bell pepper, some garlic, and orange, some scallions, and of course, shrimp. All right, so I'm gonna start with some scallions. Um, you could just do one, but I love the taste of these things, so I'm gonna put two of them in here. Set those aside, and I'm just gonna dice the rest. Set that aside. All right, four cloves of garlic. Again, you can use maybe two or something, but I like my food that tastes good, so deal with it. Again, you could use a garlic press, but I prefer to dice them. All right, next we're gonna dice some ginger. Bell pepper. And now my favorite part, an onion. Now I've seen people use regular onions, but red onions just, not only flavor-wise, but also visually, it's gonna look really nice in this dish. It's not the onions, I swear. I'm just really emotional about this dish. Let's set this whole thing aside because we're gonna make our sauce now. One bowl. Now for the sauce, this tablespoon is gonna be your best friend because everything is gonna be measured with this one spoon. One tablespoon sesame oil, one tablespoon sweet cooking sake or mirin, one tablespoon rice vinegar, one tablespoon fish sauce. By the way, out of all the things here, this smells disgusting. I'm not exaggerating, that is really gross. But it tastes delicious. Just don't smell it. One tablespoon of soy sauce. Just a little under a tablespoon of hoisin sauce. We don't want to make it too sweet. And about half of an orange. Now I don't know about you guys, but I love my food spicy, so I usually like to add a little chili pepper flakes in here. This is completely optional, but this also tastes so much better. All right, let's give that a good stir. And because we want this to stick to our shrimp, I'm gonna add just a little bit of cornstarch in there. It's kind of hard to stir in, but once all of this goes onto the shrimp and it's all under the heat, this will stick to the shrimp like glue. I mean, not exactly like glue, but like the tastiest, most delicious glue ever. I, okay, I suck at metaphors. Actually, correction, that wasn't a metaphor, that was a simile. I went to school. And of course, this is a rice-based dish, so you're gonna need a rice cooker and some rice. I'm gonna put in about half a cup of rice and about a cup and a half of water. All right, let's get our shrimp. All right, we're ready to cook this stuff, so let's put in a little bit of sesame oil. I'm gonna put the heat to like a medium high. I'm actually gonna bring my vegetables over here for easier access. Okay, first thing we're dropping into the pan are the, I already spilled some, the onions. Let that simmer for a little bit. Okay, bell peppers, ginger, and our garlic. Okay, and let's drop our raw shrimp in there. All right, let's turn these over. All right, it's time to add our sauce. And we're also gonna toss our scallions in there. Let's give this all a good stir. I don't know how clear it is, but that sauce is definitely sticking to the shrimp and the veggies. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, heat off. Put down your rice. We take our shrimp and veggies, we're just gonna pour that on. And finally, add the garnish. All 
Alright, the shot's lasted long enough. This dude's hungry.